Well, the community rally is scheduled to happen at 630 right before tonight's city council meeting. And during that meeting, Sound Transit CEO is scheduled to make a presentation about this project that's now under scrutiny. It's a community divide of haves and have nots, basically, and that concerns me. Sheridan Market has become the regular meeting spot to talk through concerns. We will lose all of most majority of our parking. Paula Good, the owner here and other Lake Forest Park neighbors say they all have something to lose if Sound Transit's plans for a new bus rapid transit service move forward. We support mass transit. We support Sound Transit. We even support this project. What we don't support is the over-engineered solution that Sound Transit wants to do here. They want to make sure the buses go as fast as possible between the South Shoreline Link Light Rail uh, Station and Bothell UW campus. That's eight miles. There are nearly 100 properties that are going to be affected. Partial takes of properties, permanent easements. Vicki Scurry says the project would cut into her property. When I learned what they were actually really doing, I was horrified. According to Sound Transit, it will have to remove nearly 400 trees. You know, we live in Lake Forest Park. Uh, trees are, are absolutely uh, critical to us and a reason why many of us moved here. This group says they've seen traffic solutions in neighboring communities. Bus Q pass and signalized lights. And that's how they gain almost more than half of the time saved is, is through those technologies. That's what we're saying they should do here. In a statement, Sound Transit says queue jumps on this portion of the project would be inconsistent with the project goals and would undermine Sound Transit's ability to meet operational requirements over time. Sound Transit thinks they can look into their crystal wall and predict what it looks like 40 years from now and that we're all going to be taking the bus. I think they need a new crystal wall. Now, voters did approve this project in 2016, but now some residents are calling on Sound Transit to come up with a way to carry it out, but with fewer impacts. Live tonight in Lake Forest Park, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.